Hey everybody, this is George with you at the Volo Auto Museum, and today I want to invite you on a virtual test drive in a 1969 Dodge Charger. Really is a great looking car. If you haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe on the YouTube channel, turn on those notifications so you get updated anytime Jay or myself do a video. You don't miss out on the car of your dreams. Now the purpose of this test drive video is for you to be able to get a look at the vehicle out in the sun, uh, virtually put you in the driver's seat so you can come as close as possible to be able to tell how it drives, how it sounds, and you can formulate any questions before you give our sales department a call. Absolutely gorgeous. For all other uh, information, you want 100 or so extra pictures when we got it on the turntable, the undercarriage, hood, trunk, everything, and all the detail right up in selling price. When we're done going over to volocars.com. I have noticed, the only thing I really see is it's been touched up a little bit in the front. Now we're never trying to hide anything. We don't want to waste your time. We don't want to waste our time. So we want to make sure you have all the information we can. And that's why Jay and myself do these videos. We take so many pictures. Now the interior does still look great. You see there's some wear and tear on the seats. But besides that, I mean, great car. Seats really comfortable. The interior, I'm looking at the dash, it looks really great. Not seeing any tears or anything like that. Everything else looks really great. Little marks up here. Don't know, it looks like they used to have a uh, dome light or something put up there. Overall, this car is really awesome. Starts right up. Uh, your cluster gauge over here, you have a clock that's actually working. That's really awesome. You have your speedo, fuel gauge, engine temp, oil pressure, the battery, or the alternator, the radio. The radio kicks on. I try to turn on the fan. Can't tell if I hear it or not. Something we can look into. Power steering feels great. And I work in the shop here. This is the first time myself or any of us have had a chance to take it out on the road. So you and I are about to feel and experience everything first time. So if we have to put it back up on the rack, run it through, anything we need to fix, we'll go ahead and take care of it, but we're gonna learn about it here. So let's take it for a ride. So I'm gonna start out just kind of cruising around, getting used to it. And then later on in the video, I will open it up. The brakes feel great, the accelerator too. Drives nice and straight steering no play I turn it just a little bit I'm already starting to head off to the left see the speedo working really a great car not hearing anything weird come from the engine compartment either Indicators up on the hood. It's kind of sunny. I'm not seeing if that right one's working. See the left one. Bumpy road. Hear a little bit of squeaks. Nothing that whatever uh, whatever bring concern to me or anything. A lot of times these older vehicles, these classics, they squeak a little. Get some of them that have been completely restored, updated everything, and it doesn't, but this one still sounds great, drives great.
little bit. Wow, so this definitely has the speed that you need. I didn't jump on it too hard, I still want to get a feel for it before I do any of that. So on a turnabout here, I'll try to get on a little bit, a little bit more. But it gets up to cruising speed, even doing that just fine. Easy to control the whole time, I never felt nervous or anything. And this isn't the smoothest road, and if it sounds great, feels great. Radius. All right. up everything and then give our sales department a call this car is so beautiful and drives great and i guarantee it's not gonna last you that long as always i appreciate it